Hello everyone, I have kind of a big announcement today. I've written a book, a kid's book, and it's called Oh the Twenties You'll Roll, and it is right here. Here's a prototype of the book, and it's about a family that goes on an adventure in a role-playing game. You can see them all gathered around the table here, and they play their characters and go on a quest. And right now, I'm doing a Kickstarter for this book. So we're gonna try and take this prototype of a book and make it into a real thing. The Kickstarter page has a lot of great rewards if you choose to back this book. Obviously, you're going to get the book, but you can also choose rewards like getting an audio version of the book, read by like me or Jovenshire, so Hinky or Mari, or signed prints, or even your name on the supporter page in the book. So please do check out that Kickstarter page. There is a link in the description. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit more about how this book came to be. In case you haven't guessed, it's kind of a parody of Oh, The Places You'll Go, a book by Dr. Seuss. And that was one of my son Tyler's favorite books to read when he was little. And I would read it with him and he would point to the main character and he would go, is that me? And I'd be like, of course that's you, you're off on an adventure. And he'd say, and are you with me? And I'd say, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm right behind this wall or I'm just over on the next page. And that's kind of where the idea for this book came from. I wanted to write a parody where a family could go on an adventure together and I wanted to set it in a fantasy world. I figured it would be a fun way to introduce my son to the concept of like role-playing games, tabletop games, fantasy worlds. And now that I have two sons, I'm doubly excited to get them playing. So I got it all written down and I looked at it and I thought, hey, it would be cool to turn this into a real book. But for that to happen, I knew I would need artwork. So I reached out to a very talented artist, Ashley Bowerman. You may know her work. If you've ever seen any videos here on this channel involving Krulax or my D&D adventures, Ashley does all the illustrations for those characters in the D&D videos. And so she was the natural choice when I thought of someone that I'd want to do the artwork for this book. I reached out to her. She said yes. And I'm so glad she did because honestly, it came out amazing. Way better than I had envisioned it in my head. There's some pictures over on the Kickstarter. Please go check it out. You can see samples of her artwork there. Just really great work. I can't say enough nice things about this artist. So we took her art and my words and put them together and now we have this book. And it's a prototype right now, but if we reach our goal here on Kickstarter, we'll be able to make it a real book, finalize it, send it out to a printer, and send it to anyone who backed the project. And I really do hope it's successful because I'd love to do more of these. It was really fun to write and I've got more ideas. You like the Lorax? I've got the Morax. You like Horton Here's a Who? I've got Morton Rides a Gru. Okay, I'm still working on titles. Those won't be finished titles. But I don't want to get ahead of myself too much. Let's just focus on getting this book out now. And I'd love to see it in stores too. If I could one day get these into like Barnes and Noble and Target, that would be awesome. If you are a publisher and you're like, hey, that would be a cool book that me or my company would like to publish, reach out to me, lasercornbiz at gmail.com. Yeah, it would be cool to be walking down an aisle one day and be like, hey, that's the book that dad wrote. Anyway, in this video, I did also want to talk about my foster situation a little bit. I know it's been a while since I announced I was fostering a child with the intention of adopting him. His name is Amir. The video on this channel where I announced I was fostering came out in April, 2021, and I haven't updated anyone since. And kind of the reason that there's been no update is I was hoping the next video would be like, hey, we've officially adopted Amir. Unfortunately, that is taking way, way longer than I originally anticipated. But I did want to fill everyone in on what's been happening in the meantime. So, uh, first the good news. Amir is doing great. He attended a lot of pool parties this summer. He's been chilling out, maxing and relaxing. In fact, even Noah Grossman set up a pool day at his family's house, which was really nice of him. Super nice guy, that one. He's also in karate now, and his instructor says that he is a natural leader and that he has a huge aptitude for it. As we head into this Halloween season, he does have his costume picked out and it has just arrived. He's going to be Pikachu. And speaking of Pikachu, I've tried to teach him how to play the Pokemon trading card game. Unfortunately, I think he's still a little too young on that one. It was a bit chaotic. Overall, Amir continues to be awesome. We're super thrilled that he's a part of our family and we can't wait to get into some shenanigans this Halloween. Also, one quick thing I wanted to do in the last video, but I forgot, I wanted to thank everyone who wrote a reference letter for us so that we could become foster parents, including Joven Shire and Kate. That was very nice of you. All right, let's talk about the less fun part, the adoption process itself, all that really great bureaucracy and everything. So in the last video, I talked about a court hearing that got delayed that we had to have before we could move forward and put him in an adoptive placement. That finally happened after many delays. The judge signed off on everything and then the paperwork got sent to Sacramento. And so once that paperwork gets back from Sacramento, he will officially be an adoptive placement. However, we sent that out in January and it's supposed to take eight to 10 weeks and it is now October and we still haven't heard anything. 
Our social worker and our agency worker said they can't really do anything to speed up the process. We've also reached out to an adoption worker that I believe is working on our case, but her voicemail box is full. So if anyone has any ideas on how to speed this up, I would love to hear suggestions. My personal theory is that our paperwork has been sucked into another dimension and we will now need to retrieve it from Lord Omnithrax, Keeper of Lost Things. So we look forward to doing that. I'd like to point out that everyone I've talked to in this process seems really nice and I feel like they're doing the best that they can, but everything seems underfunded. It seems like they don't have enough employees. So the employees that they do have end up taking on way more cases than they should have and then things just end up falling through the cracks. So we will get there eventually, but I feel like the we officially adopted a mirror video is still at least like a year away. And I assure you that wait is going to be way more frustrating for us than for you. I mean, we are his parents. We've been his parents for the last two years. We would just really like a little piece of paper that says, hey, we the government officially recognize that you are his parents and we're sorry for the wait. And here's a, a gift card to Cheesecake Factory. That last one's optional, but you know, I'll take it. All right, and that about wraps it up. Again, please do check out that Kickstarter. There's a link right in the description. Let me know what you think of the book. There's some great preview images over on the Kickstarter and I'd love to hear your feedback. And yeah, I'll see you all next time.